So the NFL Combine on field workouts kick off the day. I think we got a running back going to be doing 40 yard dash and all of the cone drills and everything like that. By the time this actually comes out, y'all have probably already seen that stuff, but I'm recording this at 6 a.m. in the morning. Definitely excited about the NFL Combine, but before I go into it, even though I have been watching the, like the press conferences and stuff over the past couple of days, but like I said, on field stuff kicks off the day. Anyway, before we jump into that, I wanted to bring you guys an update on John Franklin III. I did a video a couple days ago saying that he reportedly ran a 419 at a training facility that story was backed up by the training facility themselves but when he went to the national scouting combine as a lot of people kind of predicted he wasn't quite able to duplicate those results so he ran a 432 at the national scouting combine according to palmbeachpost.com however they also reported that he ran a 44 flat on the laser time, which is what the NFL Combine uses. Now the way they typed it up, it doesn't feel super definitive, I'll be honest. And I've checked the website of the National Scout Combine, even waited till this morning to make this video so that I could check it again because on yesterday it wasn't updated. Today, it, uh, it actually has the little tab for the 2018 results, but it just says coming soon. Now the whole event doesn't end until Monday, so it may take until then for them to get everything updated or maybe it'll be later today, tomorrow, I don't know. But again, according to palmbeachpost.com, they gave us a raw 432, or I guess an unofficial 432, and an official time of a 4440. So assuming that's correct, while that's technically a strong time, of course, it's a bit disappointing after the 419 hype. We was all kind of, I mean, I was more hoping. Like, the 432 is, is a little bit more in line with what I would have expected, to be honest. 44 flat is like, you know, it's fast, but it's not like that other level fast. And just given JF3's lack of production last year at FAU, I think it really would have went a long way if he could have posted an otherworldly time. Now, with that being said, let's also remember, come March 27th, FAU is going to have their pro day. And JF3 has already confirmed that he will be running the 40-yard dash there again. So, he'll have another opportunity to try this again and showcase some other things as well. So I just wanted to bring you out this update, man. Hit me up in the comment section. What do you think JF3's best case scenario is as far as getting a shot in the NFL? Do you think a team would use a late draft pick on them? Or is it more going to be an undrafted thing, gets called in, gets a, an opportunity? Hopefully, at the very least, that's what it is. But if not, man, you got other leagues popping up all over the place. You got Canada. And there are finally starting to be some, some other alternatives to the NFL. There's actually a couple other leagues. Of course, there's the XFL is going to be kicking off, I think, in 2019. There's another league being developed by uh, Tom Brady's agent. So there are some other options, man. Anyway, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to share the video, like the video, subscribe if you're new. I'm out at you next time from Low Raps. One. Yeah,